Hey, what's going on everybody? In our previous video of this series, we went over how to reset your disco to factory default and restore to the latest firmware. Today I will be loading Arduplane software onto my Parrot Disco using two common tools, WinSCP and PuTTY. There are three main steps we will walk through. Connect to the Disco Wi-Fi access point, which is on the subnet of 192.168.42.1. Connecting to the Disco via FTP and connecting the Disco to a file transfer program like WinSCP. If you aren't familiar with Arduplane software or APM, then I suggest doing some due diligence to decide whether this is something you want to do. I will be using a Windows machine to do all the work, but you can use a Mac computer as well using the same techniques. First thing to note, this is not my program or scripts. I downloaded them off the Arduplane website in the Parrot Disco forum section. That link will be posted below. I want to make a visual key to follow so it takes as much of the guesswork out and maybe help a few people that may have gotten stuck like I did. So let's go ahead and power on the disco, making sure that it has plenty of battery to perform these steps. Once the disco is powered on, connect to the disco's access point with your computer and open up PuTTY and WinSCP. Insert the disco's IP address in the IP space and make sure the connection is over FTP. Once this is complete, you should be connected to the disco in both file transfer abilities as well as a shell prompt. I insert the mount command to make the directories and subdirectories writable so that I can view some of the text in the shell scripts and that I have the ability to edit them if need be. Once we have everything connected, let's transfer our files that we downloaded from ArduPilot's website. Links in the description if you would like to grab them. We will just transfer two of the four files the website recommends. We will cover why later on in the video. Next is to transfer the ArduPilot and start underscore ArduPlane.sh over to the ArduPlane directory under internal underscore 000. This is made easy using WinSCP because it opens into data slash FTP. So we just enter internal underscore 000 and ArduPlane, then upload our files, making sure we upload them as binary files. Now that the files are transferred, we need to edit the start underscore ardu pilot sh to point to the right directory, which is now arduplane and not apm. At this point, we are complete with the install of the files. What this will allow you to do is now start the disco in the standard dragon starter, then click on the power button three times to initiate the arduplane system. The reason for not installing the RCS underscore mode underscore default script is I discovered that in uploading the file over the original, it would not allow me to dual boot. It would only allow me to boot into Arduplane. Now with this setup, I can boot into the FreeFlight Pro app and fly through the app and Sky Controller 2, or I can load flight plans via the ground control station or GCS. But we have not programmed that, so it is still not able to be used at this point. That will be for an upcoming video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.